morning, or good afternoon, or good evening. <laughs> this is Lori at Pizzazz Studios. And I have in front of me a tile that I was just working on and I um, decided to scrape it off. I didn't like it. So I scraped it and cleaned it. Now I'm gonna start again. And I'm just gonna sort of get right into this video today. This is my white house paint. I mix my white house paint with the uh, golden GAC 800 and a little bit of water. So I'm gonna just spin this out here, even everything out. It's a four and a quarter inch tile from um, home improvement stores. You can get these at Lowe's or Home Depot, those kind of places. They're very easy to find. So I'm just gonna spread this out. I'm gonna do the bloom technique today on this tile. Some people prefer to just do the um, painting in the middle and then spin the whole thing out and not put paint on the entire tile, but I find myself a lot of times covering the whole tile first and then doing it. It's all personal preference, you do it however you'd like, but this is what I'm doing. I think this works pretty well. I usually prefer to do it this way. Okay, I'm gonna even this out here a little bit. I'm sort of doing almost like a rainbow color sort of today. Um, I'm not adding any orange or purple, but I am using colors that will mix together and hopefully create some of those colors for me. Like for example, I'm using a yellow and a blue together and that will give me some green. At least that's the, uh, that's the plan. <laughs> if the paints cooperate and all goes according to my, my master plan here. Popping some air bubbles. I have just a couple, not too many. Okay, so this looks pretty good. I'm gonna go ahead and put a little bit down here in the middle. And the first color I'm going to put down is Primary Yellow by Liquitex Basics. I have my paints pre-mixed from a few days ago, so um, these have been sitting for a little bit. I have a fresh cell activator, though, that I just mixed up that I'm going to use today. The next color is Primary Blue. Like I said, yellow and blue will make green. So we should get some good greens in here. The next one I have is a color art pigment. It's called Majestic Blue. Very pretty, very shimmery. Uh, let's see, this one, a little bit of light magenta. Uh, red. This is pretty. It's like a light red, though. It's called crimson. And then the last color, Deco Art 24 Karat Gold, just for a little bit of, a bit of gold effect there. I think that's gonna be pretty. Very pretty. Okay, so those are my colors. I just put down six colors as well as the white. So that would be seven total. And then I'm gonna put a black cell activator. So I guess that's eight. I have a little bit of something right here in my paint. I'm just pulling out, see that? It's a little bit of dried gold. Like I said, these paints have been sitting a few days, so they're just about gone. I figured I would use them up. Make sure this is nice and centered. Just tipping that a little bit, and that looks good. All right, now I have a black cell activator. I'm gonna put right in the middle here and blow it out. Giving my cell activator a good stir before I use it. It's just been sitting here. I made it up earlier before I started the video, so I'm just gonna give it a stir. 
Hope everybody's doing well. I appreciate all the new subscribers. I've had a lot of them lately. Thank you so much. I appreciate you. And if you could hit the like button if you enjoyed my video, that would help me out on YouTube as well. That means a lot to me. Thank you. If you have any questions or comments, suggestions, anything, go ahead and leave them down in the comment box. I'll get back to you. All right, we're about ready here. I'm going to lay this down. So this is my black cell activator. And then I'm going to go ahead and blow this out. So excuse my head. Ooh, pretty green. So the blue and yellow definitely mixed for a little bit of green. We've also made some purples. Oh, this is so pretty. Look at the cells coming up in the middle. Let me zoom in for you. I'm gonna zoom in so you can get a nice look. Okay. There we go. We're gonna let this sit a minute. I need to let it sit to um, let the paint come back to the center of the tile. Sorry about this. I'm trying to just focus the phone. Okay. I don't know what happened. My phone's a little bit about a range here. I need to move my cell phone holder. Okay. Oh my gosh, this is beautiful. Look at the cells. Woo wee. Glad I added that little bit of gold. Oh, these are pretty. Pretty, pretty. Wow, interesting. Very pretty. I like the way the colors mixed. It made me some purples and greens and oh my gosh, that looks really nice from the side angle or across the top. You can see all the iridescence and the shimmer. <laughs> I love that. Oh boy, pretty. My pouring medium for my paints for this technique, you can actually find down in videos. Um, it's number 18. If you need to look at that. And then number 19 video. Um, we'll show you how to mix that pouring medium with uh, paints and primary elements from color art. Perfect. This looks good. Ooh, ooh. <laughs> I'm liking it. Let me zoom out. So we can give it a spin and see what we get. And then at the end, I'll zoom in again, of course, so you can get a nice view. Nice close-up. Okay, that looks good, I think. Let's give her a little whirl here. I'm not going to spin too, too hard. I want the paint to stretch over. I think I'm going to actually add a little bit of white. It looks like I need a little white on the edges here just to make this move a little more. Sometimes the corners you need to add just a little bit. So add a little more house paint or whatever you have and... That should help it move along. Okay. Let's do this again. I'm not very good at spinning with my left hand. <laughs> Definitely a righty, and I do use both hands once in a while, but you know, my right arm's a little stronger, so when I spin, with my left hand, it looks a little funny, <laughs> but hey, it does the trick. I'll go back this way. Give this, oh my gosh, this is pretty. Pretty. <laughs> yep, okay, come on, baby. I'm trying to get these corners over, but I don't want to spin too hard. But I'm going to need to spin a little harder than this because there's a lot of paint up there. I need to get off some of that too. You don't want to leave it too thick with paint because when it dries, it might start cracking on you and crazing and things like that. So you don't want it too thick. Wow, this is pretty. Oh my 
my goodness. Very shimmery. Okay, come on. This corner is just playing with me here. I can edge it along a little bit here. I'm gonna add a little bit. This corner too, actually. All right, harder spin this time. There we go. We'll show it who's boss, right? <laughs> there we go. <clears throat> Woohoo! I like this. I like this very much. Yes, I'm singing. Sort of. <laughs> hey, be, be grateful. I've only had half a cup of coffee, so... I'd be, probably be singing a lot more <laughs> if I had more. All right, so this part here is bothering me a little bit. I'm going to tilt this. Bear with me a second. Oh, my God, this is gorgeous. But I'm going to tilt it a little bit because I'm trying to get it to move downward here. Wow, pretty. I don't know what it is with that one little section being a little stubborn. Stop being stubborn. Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> okay. Okay, come on. Oh, that's better. That's better. I would like... You know, for that section, the black section there to tilt off. Hmm. It's funny. I don't know why it's being so stubborn. I haven't had this happen before. Just like that one section. It usually, if it does, it's a corner. For me anyway, but... You want to tilt it slow, too. I mean, you don't want to go too fast. It'll distort it all and it'll look funky, you know? Okay. Well, I'm going to bring it back this way a little bit. I don't usually have to do this um, tilt so much like that. I don't want to take it off my cup because then it'll be unstuck and I don't want to do that. In case I want to spin more. That's why I'm tipping my entire spinner. It's just easier that way. So, you see this section? Here's the one I'm going for. That black line. It was way up here, so it's getting down there. It's almost there. I don't mind a little bit of it there, but that big black section was bothering me. It looked funny, and plus I had white there. I, I wanted to get off. Oh, this looks really cool. <laughs> I love it. Just about done. I know I'm spinning an awful lot. I don't usually have to spin this much. But sometimes it's up to the paint, you know? It's not always up to you. I say I'm the boss, but I'm really not. I like to pretend I'm the boss. <laughs> oh, this looks so pretty. Oh my gosh, this is really pretty. Wow, I love it. I love this. I'm gonna wipe off the bottom. You wanna make sure you get all the paint off the bottom. Oh, even that's pretty. <laughs> so pretty. Okay, one second. Let me wipe this off. I'm going to zoom in for you. Give you a nice close-up of this. I actually think I'm going to take it off of the spinner, too, and show you a close-up. Okay. 
leave me a comment. Let me know if you like this because I think these colors are phenomenal. This is really pretty, like very pretty. So basically it's like a rainbow, but without the orange. It's really cool. Let's see. Yeah. I don't really see any orange, but I've got red, yellow, green. There's blue. I guess you could call an indigo in there. And then violet, like a purple. And then, um, obviously, the gold shimmer. And the shimmer from the primary elements that I used, the uh, majestic blue. All right, I'm going to zoom in for you. I hope that wasn't out of the camera shot. Oh, I'm so sorry if it was. My phone stand here is being weird lately. It keeps moving on me and I'm recording or sometimes, I don't know. Anyway, I think most of it came out okay, but we'll find out. I'll upload this video for you if it all came out fine, which I'm pretty sure it did. Look at that. Isn't that beautiful? Wow, wow. Look at the cells. Multicolored. So pretty. Okay, I'm going to take this out of the holder. I'm going to take that off the spinner. And I'm going to get a better close-up. See if we can't catch some of this iridescence to it. And I'll show you another close-up from a different angle. Okay, guys, here we go. I have it off the spinner now. I'm going to zoom in. Look how pretty this is. Oh, sorry about the lighting there. I'm trying to get it so that the lighting doesn't reflect back in the tile. But wow. Wow, wow. Did I say wow? <laughs> wow. So cool. So beautiful. Look at those little cells. I like when I get the little cells and the big cells. I just love that. This is really pretty. Look at these cells. Look at the colors. Mind you, I used no purple. And no green. Wow. Okay. I guess that's enough of that, huh? Well, thanks so much for joining me. I really hope you enjoyed my video. If you did, please hit the like button. And I appreciate all the new subscribers. And if you're watching and you have not yet subscribed, please feel free to subscribe to my channel. I'd like to have you. And I will see you again soon on the next video. Enjoy your day. Thank you for watching. Bye.